joined right now on the Ford Post Game Show by our Budweiser Man of the Match, Ned Grabovoy, downstairs tonight. Ned, congratulations on the win and a little bit different formation we saw you guys come out with tonight. How did you think that thing played through about the first 60, 65 minutes? Uh, I thought it went well. Um, we got some fresh legs in some important spots, uh, especially higher up the field. Uh, kind of with the three guys with Plata, Javier, and Garcia underneath Sabo. Uh, you know, I, th I think that formation a little bit with, with the players we had tonight, we maybe might have had our best 11 soccer players on the field at one time, um, which is good. But at, at the same time, I thought we came out second half a little flat, uh, and we got to try to put those games away a little bit more because we're in control the whole first half, and we kind of gave them a bit of momentum in the second half there. Matt, a, a little bit of a different look for you, You're sitting a little bit deeper alongside Kyle Beckman. Uh, for you, what were some of the things that both you and Kyle were talking about trying to make sure from a balance perspective you guys were looking good defensively? Yeah, well, obviously uh, they, switched, they switched up their shape as well, I think, 15 or 20 minutes in. Uh, so they're playing one high, uh, similar to us, with Bruin. Uh, and so Kyle and I are trying to make sure that uh, we're aware of the highest midfielder, wh whoever's run through, whether it's Davis or Clark. Uh, and the communication between, you know, Nat, Carlos, Kyle, and myself is really important because that guy sometimes can, can get lost and can find space. Uh, so that, you know, defensively, that was probably the most important thing. And then soccer-wise, like I said, I mean, the spaces were there uh, to knock the ball around tonight. Uh, I thought we did pretty well with that. Uh, but maybe need to be a bit sharper in the final third, creating uh, clear chances tonight. And hey, do you feel like you guys are in pretty good position right now? You've gotten through Open Cup, the finals now in October. You've gotten through international duty and Gold Cup and things. You've got the full squad back. The health is pretty good, and you're sitting atop the Western Conference table. Well, it's August. Uh, you can talk to me in November, uh, and I'll let you know about that. But. Uh, we don't need to get too comfortable. I think right now we're doing a good job of focusing on our group. Uh, obviously, we're going to give respect to the other team. Uh, you know, we're going to pay attention to how they play, the dangerous players. But in saying that, our group is focused on ourselves right now and getting better each and every week. Uh, and we've we've had some things to clean up. Uh, I think you saw a little bit again at the end, last 15 minutes, a bit of nerves from a group that's had trouble closing out some games the past few weeks, which is maybe understandable. but. Uh, maybe that's a, a confidence builder for us in the back going forward. Ned, you guys have always put a premium on possession. What is it that makes you guys so good, so confident, just moving the ball around the midfield, forcing teams to chase? Yeah, well, I think you see, you have a, you know, I think you have a lot of special players in the field that can do special things. But at the same time, I think when you see the group play simple uh, until the space opens up, it opens up itself. One and two touch soccer, playing and moving. Uh, and then you find a Javier Morales with time and space. You find a Plata with time and space. You find a Garcia uh, or a Sabo. And then we go from there. And so I think, you know, tonight we try to focus on, you know, one, two touch soccer, play simple and move, and kind of just let the game open up itself. Uh, and I think, you know, kind of in that middle third, you saw a lot of that tonight. And like I said, we found spaces in the final third, just maybe weren't as clean uh, in that area of the field. Uh, but we have been for the most part this season, so that's okay. All right, Ned, nothing midweek this week, but how about a thought on next Saturday night you head back down to Southern California, a place where you guys have always felt some pretty good success, but a, a matchup with the Galaxy next Saturday. Yeah, great team. Uh, been a great team for a while. Uh, and so we'll get rested here after a, a pretty long stretch, uh, especially for, you know, some of the guys like Kyle. Uh, and so we'll get, you know, some extra rest and, uh, you know, go in there and try to get a result against a really, you know, well-coached team and, and one of the better teams in the league without question. Hey, Ned, thanks. Yeah, Congratulations. Thanks, Watch RSL take on the Galaxy on August 17th at 8.30 on ABC4 Utah.